With Simulink units, you can specify physical units for Simulink signals and bus elements at the interfaces of components such as subsystems, model references, state flow charts, and MATLAB function blocks. You can either use the dialog box of input and output blocks or signal object definitions to specify units for Simulink signals. Similarly, you can use the bus editor or bus element definitions for bus elements. Once the units are specified, you can turn on Port Units property under Display menu to display the units on the signal line. You'll also notice that the subsystem and model block icons display units, further enhancing the readability of Simulink models. In addition to visualizing the units, you can also identify unit mismatches at the component interfaces. As components are typically created by different team members, any differences in unit specification could go unnoticed without manual inspection. Now with 16A, upon model update or simulation, Simulink throws contextual warnings when such mismatches are found. For simple cases where the mismatched units are separated by a scaling factor, Simulink automatically fixes the issue and provides a warning note with explanation or further debugging steps. A model advisor report with a summary of all the warnings and suggested debugging steps is produced and can be accessed from the diagnostic viewer. One way a system engineer can enforce consistency is by restricting the unit systems for certain components. This can be done using the configuration parameter allowed unit systems. If a component uses disallowed units, Simulink prompts the user by throwing a warning. Also, units specified at PS2S and S2PS blocks automatically show up at the Simulink Simscape component interfaces. For more information and examples, please refer to Simulink units documentation. The fault tolerant fuel control system example in Simulink documentation is fully configured with units for you to get started.